Imagine a stealth drone that looks like something out of a sci-fi movie. No tail, no cockpit, just smooth wings and hidden missiles. This was Turkey's Anka 3. But in a recent test, this futuristic flying wing crashed, and not just that, it broke apart in mid-air. So what went wrong? What is this drone? And why does it matter not just to Turkey, but to military powers around the world? Let's break it all down. The incident took place on June 26, 2025, during a scheduled flight test in Konya, Turkey. The Turkish Ministry of National Defense announced that the Anka-3 unmanned stealth aircraft had to make an emergency landing. Now, when a defense ministry says emergency landing and then photos leak showing the wings separated from the main body, you know it wasn't a soft touchdown. The good news? There were no injuries, and the fuselage survived mostly intact. But this event raised serious concerns about the drone's airframe durability and structural reliability, especially since this is supposed to be a next-generation combat drone. Let's understand the Anka-3. This is not a toy drone or something bought off the shelf. It's a jet-powered stealth flying wing UAV, developed by Turkish Aerospace Industries, TAI. Its most defining feature? No vertical stabilizers, a blended wing body, and a profile meant to reduce radar visibility. It's powered by a turbojet engine, not a propeller, making it faster and more suited for modern air combat. Its missions include electronic warfare surveillance and intelligence gathering, and even precision strikes using internal weapons bays. In fact, it can carry air-to-ground bombs like the Turkish Tiber 82 and operate as a loyal wingman alongside manned jets. This drone is Turkey's answer to advanced systems like the US XQ-58A Valkyrie or Russia's S-70 Okotnik. So why is this crash important? It's not the first time an aircraft has failed during tests. Almost all advanced jets, from the F-22 to the F-35, went through failures during development. But the Anka-3 is different because it's a symbol of Turkey's move toward next-gen military independence. A failure at this stage could mean design revisions, production delays, and more importantly, global perception issues. The fact that the wings detached could point to a structural failure, a design flaw in the wing fuselage connection, or even faulty materials or flight control errors. This is not just a mechanical issue, it's an engineering challenge that has to be solved before the drone enters full production. Over the past few years, Turkey has emerged as a global drone leader. The Bayraktar TB2 made headlines in Ukraine, Syria, and Libya, proving that drones could dominate battlefields. Then came Akinci, a heavy strike drone with long endurance and high payload capacity. Next up is Bayraktar TB3, designed for naval operations from amphibious assault ships. The Anka-3 represents a leap forward into the domain of stealth warfare, autonomous missions, and jet speed combat. So this crash doesn't just affect a single test unit, it directly impacts Turkey's position in the global arms market and its strategic influence. The Turkish government has launched a full investigation into the incident. What will they look at? Flight data logs, telemetry, and sensor readings, wing stress tests, and materials. Once the cause is identified, redesigns will likely be made to strengthen the weak points. This could take weeks or months, but don't expect Turkey to abandon the project. If anything, they'll likely double down, update the design, and bring it back even stronger. That's how most modern fighter aircraft and drones are perfected, through trial, failure, and iteration. In conclusion, the crash of the Anka-3 is a temporary setback, not a final verdict. It shows the complexity of building stealth drones, but also highlights Turkey's ambition to stand alongside drone superpowers like the US, China, and Russia. If Turkey overcomes this, the Anka-3 could be flying over battlefields and defense expos very soon. That's it for today's breakdown. If you're interested in military tech, stealth systems, or global drone races, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more such explainers.